Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now going to answer question number eight from the February March 2020 International A Level Cambridge Pure Mathematics P19709 um, syllabus. And this is paper one, variant two. Uh, and here we have a question which is about basically series, arithmetic and geometric series. Now, the first question tells you about a woman's basic salary for her first year with a particular company is $30,000. And at the end of the year, she also gets a bonus of $600. So for her first year, express her bonus as a percentage of her basic salary. Okay, so the bonus is $600 and the basic salary is $30,000. So we're going to express you know, one quantity as a percentage of another. So we make a fraction out of those two. So we're going to have 600 divided by 30,000. That is the fraction of her bonus. The fraction, uh, her bonus is of her salary, her basic salary. To change that into percentage, you just multiply by 100. So you have 100%. All right, so you're going to cancel out two of the zeros from here and two of the zeros from there. Six over three is two. 2%, very simple. 2% is the percentage that her bonus is of her basic salary. All right, now for part B, it says at the end of each complete year, the woman's basic salary will increase by 3%. Okay, so at the end of each um, year, complete year, the woman's basic salary will increase by 3% and her bonus will increase by $100. Uh, dollars, sorry. Okay, so there's two things going on here. You've got something dealing with her basic salary. Okay, and this looks like this is an increase of 3%. This is like a geometric sequence. This is called a geometric sequence. Okay, sometimes it's called a, a um, exponential sequence. And then you have her bonus. And what's happening with her bonus is adding the same amount each time. Because this is a geometric sequence because you have to multiply by the same number each time to see the next value. For this, in the case of her bonus, it's an arithmetic sequence because sometimes it's called a linear sequence. Um, the reason why it's called arithmetic sequence is because you have to add the same amount each time. You have to add or subtract the same amount each time. Here you have to add 100 each time to get to the bonus in the next year. All right, so it says express the bonus you will be paid at the end of a 24th year as a percentage of the basic salary paid during that year. So when we have to deal with geometric and arithmetic series, we're given some formulae in the formula book. And some of the formulae are dealing with particular terms and other formulae are dealing with the sum of the values of you know, particular terms or, or you know, over, over a number of, of, of terms. So we have to first identify, are we looking for the sum of a series or are we looking for a particular term in the series? And in both these cases, okay, these parts of this question, because this is like two parts, one of them is about the basic salary, the other one is about the bonus, we can see that we're dealing with a particular term, the 24th year, okay? So if you think about her basic salary in her first year, it's going to be 30,000, okay, as we were told in the beginning, 30,000. Okay, and at the end of the first year, her bonus is going to be 600. So you can say over the whole of that year, that's how much she earns. And over the whole of that year, she's going to have 600 bonus by the end of that year. So by the end of the year, she's going to have this much money. Okay, 30,000 plus 600. Okay, now we've got to think about what's going to happen here. When you have a geometric sequence, it's increasing by 3% each year. Increasing by 3%. So basically, what we can say is going to be like the normal salary, which is 100% plus 3%, which gives you 103%. And 103% is 1.03 as a decimal. So we're going to have to multiply 30,000 by 1.03. 30,000 by 1 point, times 1.03 to get the salary in the second year. Okay. So basically, you can think of it, if we think about it in series, in terms of series, we have a geometric series. So we're going to look for a particular term. A particular term is given by A times R to the power of N minus 1. Okay, so in this case, we're looking for what's happening in the 24th year. 
in the 24th year we're looking for what's going to happen in that particular that particular year all right um so the salary she receives by the end of the 24th year okay is going to be given by well n equals 24 a equals her initial salary which is 30000 and r equals 1.03 so we're going to say that the 24th salary she's going to get okay after the increases of all those years is going to be 30000 times 1.03 to the power of 24 minus 1 which is 23 okay that will give you the amount she receives in salary in her basic salary so 30000 times 1.03 to the power of 23. Um, 30,000 times 1.03 to the power of 23. That's 59,207.59. Okay, 59,000. Yeah, 207.595. 59,207.5. Five nine five. Okay, I'll um, simplify that later um, and round it at the end when I've added the other information. So the, the the first one, first thing we're dealing with is her basic salary. That's what we dealt with there. The second thing we're dealing with is her bonus. Now her bonus is going to increase each year by one hundred. So she's going to get two. By the end of the second year, she's going to get 700. By the end of the third year, she's going to have 800. It's going to increase by one each time. So this is a, an arithmetic series. So you have un equals a plus n minus 1 times d. In this case, a is 600 and n is 24. We'll find it at the end of the 24th year. And um, d is 100. It's increasing by 100 each time. So the 24th. Yeah, the bonus is going to be 600 plus, and you're going to have 24 minus 1, which is 23, times 100. So that's going to give you 2,300 plus 600, 2,900. So therefore, we can say that her, um, it's asking for the, the bonus she will be paid at the end of the 24th year as a percentage of the basic salary paid during that year. So again, we're going to take the bonus, which is 2,900, Divide it by her basic salary, which, in fact, I'll just leave it in this form, which is 30,000 times 1.03 to the power of 23, okay, and multiplied by 100%, and that will give us our answer. So we're going to take this, um, we'll do 2,900 over the last answer, multiplied by 100. And that will give us 4.898, which is 4.90%. Okay, let's just make sure we've gotten that right. Um, yeah, 600, I'll just make sure 600 plus 23 times 100 divided by 30,000 times 1.03 to the power of 23. Yeah, that gives us, multiplied by 100 as a percentage, 4.898, 4.90 to 3SF. Okay, that's what we have to write it as, unless otherwise stated, that's fine. Okay, so there's part B, and that's the end of question eight. Okay, so it's uh, not too difficult. It's just the, the information shows that the, you know, the salary is geometric, the bonus is arithmetic, and we've got to deal with them depending on their formulas. And we have to make sure we don't make the mistake of um, you know, finding the sum or using the formula for the sum. The sum is if they asked us, for example, for the sum of the first 23 salaries. They might have said, what's the sum of the, all the, f uh, the bonuses for the first 24 years? Um, what what what's the uh, what percentage is that of the sum of the salaries for the first twenty four years, for example? And right, that would be using the sum formula, okay, which are not the same as these. And these formulas these formulae are found in the formula book, okay? They're found in the formula book, and you can see here this is the formula book. Um, yeah, for arithmetic series, the sum. This is the particular term, which we use a plus n minus one times d, and this is the sum 
formula. So this is one form of the sum formula here, and this is another form here. And you've got for geometric series, this is a particular term of the series, and this is for the sum of the terms in a series. So these are given to us in case you do forget them in the formula book. For for this question, we only needed the terms, we didn't need the sums. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular uh, paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from the topic of series, arithmetic and geometric series from P1 of the Cambridge Syllabus 9709 can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and um, over here you can watch a video which will help you to find or navigate through my channel to help you find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.